beautiful human beings. <laughs> Let me literally stop, you guys. <laughs> Let me stop, but no, seriously. Hello, beautiful human beings. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is, I believe, episode 132 of my Sim Self Let's Play. Um, and like, literally, you guys. I don't even know like what I'm even doing right now like I don't even know if I should like start an episode because what I was thinking before starting this episode is like there's just really not too much to do you know I feel like I've kind of hit a roadblock with the let's play because what are you doing mommy like really girl you came all the way up here to eat with your 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 dad and grandpapa and you guys barely have a relationship but um no so like i don't even know like what's what's going on you know i feel like the game the let's play has definitely hit like a roadblock because you know i feel like there's just not much to do like the kids have already been on two vacations to like um um i don't know i didn't really imagine this for him fitness for ash because he's more of kind of like a computer geek he doesn't maybe no you know what why not no you know what let's do if you guys don't know there's like you could put if you look up like random name picker wheel i think that's like a website or something you can literally like it's like a like a little color wheel and you could put like different options of like yes or no or something and it just it just does it for you so if you have like trouble guessing like okay i created a little thing with yes or no and then let's see yes okay so yes he does like fitness okay there you go that that resolved that complication for me because i get in my head too much and, and I, t I would just take like too long to like kind of come with a conclusion but no you guys so i've i was just saying like you know i feel like i kind of did everything you know um like my sims like the kids have been on multiple vacations already to multiple different vacation homes that we have in the family um they got their grades up they both completed their main thing his was like the the prodigy one with smarts hers was with the arts and she already did it um you know it's like they already kind of did their thing what they're really passionate about um kylie you know she did her little thing where she quit her job they had their little drama there and then joaquin he's definitely working up in his career but you know it's just about going to work and getting those levels up um so i mean like i don't know you know i was thinking of basically like playing the next six or seven sim days off camera because that's when the the little babies they age up they age up in about seven days and then i was thinking that you know we could really um within like a couple of episodes after that one it things could get really juicy and we can have the kids um you know i wanted to have ash you know eventually move out to that penthouse in semi shuno once he gets like um the inheritance of paka when paka passes away like the trust fund he gets like his million and a half simoleons and whatnot which I think actually it's going to be two million because I think they have about four million dollars like cash. So in the household, so they're going to have a two million uh, simoleon trust fund, which is insane. What's going on here? Is everything OK? Oh, he's asking for advice. Like, Daddy, what do I do when kids are being buff faces? <gasps> Look, what did I say? You guys witnessed to a bully, a little buff face. <laughs> that is crazy, you guys. <laughs> some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends i wanted to help but i didn't know what to do what do you think i should have done um i mean realistically it would be safer to not get involved but also it's like stand up for your friend you know what let's do this we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do the same thing the little yes or no thing yes is for step in no is for stay out of it Okay, step in. I wanted to do step in. Man, screw the manners. Screw the manners, dude. Screw the manners. Nobody's worried about those manners right now, okay? Where are his little stats, though? Oh, they're not. Yeah. Nobody even... We're not even checking for this. We're not even, we're not even worried about this foolishness. Okay, but so... But yeah, so, you know, the kids, like, everything is kind of, you know, set up. So I was thinking of, you know... 
coming back next episode when it's their birthdays because they do age up on like you know i both adopted them i adopted them both on the same day so coming back when it's their birthdays and you know they could be teenagers and do their thing i also had um what i did have um happen is off camera while i played like this sunday off camera i had joaquin get his his skills up for his job i don't know why the game is playing me like this saying he needs to be level six charisma skill when he is level six charisma skill um but you know he got it he got his skills up um she got she mastered the fitness skill so she's now a master of wellness and fitness so she's like a super like health guru type of vibe you know um and then chelsea started learning the singing skill i had her kind of pick that up can you take a shower mommy and then go to sleep yeah, she can sing in the shower um let's end this this, this little gathering actually these people can go home okay so that's done there um we like to keep this open just so that they they like they get points like while they're sleeping and stuff but oh you want to sleep early puppy okay that's fine mi amor you sleepy too mommy okay you can go to sleep too mamita she's gonna go to sleep we had um, a little caterer come over here, cook some food. Oh, hold on, hold on, mommy. Can you put this away? Yeah, can you put that away, mi amor? And then you can go to sleep, okay, mommy? But yeah, so um, Chelsea got to level four of the singing skill. Um, I do still think I want her to be an environmentalist um because that is kind of her thing she is an animal lover so that's a big part of her life she's really passionate about um animals so she's gonna you know do something with like a maybe conservationist or um something like that you know some type of very like you know animal like helping the environment type of job and then where is this dude at what are you doing puppy this dude you feeling like the man right now Feeling like the man ash is that what's going on, Poppy? Can you go to sleep, mi amor? Just want you to get some sleep, okay? Um, so maybe, you know, she could also be a singer. Who knows, though? Maybe she could be, like, a singer and she sings about the environment. Like, she introduces a new genre of, like, woke pop. Like, they talk about, like, pressing issues in the world and stuff, but do it, like, musically and in a way that's very catchy and... It engages and ent it entertains, but also informs. Oh, you guys. Yes, you guys. Yes, because she is very creative. I wanted her to get into the painting skill because I would like her to be a painter like her dad, Joaquin. But the kids, they can't do the painting skill as kids right now. So, you know, I was like, whatever. But we can have her do that. Yeah, she's going to be like a painter and a singer and she through her art through like her paintings and stuff like she kind of she she blends like you know like pressing world issues like social issues and climate issues into her art like in her paintings reflected in her songs like her lyrics and whatnot yes you guys <laughs> let me stop let me literally stop you guys <laughs> but no seriously i think i'd really really like that Oh, hold on, mommy. You're up way too early. I just noticed. Go back to sleep, mommy, okay? But so, yeah, so I'm thinking that might be a really good idea. Um, you don't have anything to do, but why don't you just take a nap? Take a little nappy, okay? You can you can exercise. Go on a nice little jog. When you wake up from this nap, okay, mi amor? Pues tira el amor que no toque mi puerta i mean this dude is losing teeth left and right just pull that thing out mi amor pull that thing out papi go ahead papi be a g be a g come on papi be a g about it be a g like where are you going dude where are you literally going dude where is this guy like what's happening you know what i'm saying what is literally happening this dude's gonna watch tv is he going into uh, his parents' room? Ay, que lindo. He always does this. He likes to come in here and sit down and do stuff in here while they're sleeping. 
that is really freaking cute Ooh, that wasn't cute that little uh, tooth pull moment but you know whatever floats your boat poppy can you take a shower mi amor get all nice and clean all, all rubby dubby for the little um your little schools your school this is but so yeah you guys so that's definitely gonna be chelsea's thing i think you know kind of gonna gonna kind of use her art to kind of you know be, you know keep the world woke you know and ent you entertain and inform and then ash though i think we are going to be playing mainly with ash she's going to be like the main like the next main character of the like my sims generations he's going to be you know like a tech guru like a tech genius oh what i did do off camera i totally forgot to mention i had him master the logic skill he had um his grandma amori come over and okay yeah i know um he came uh she came over like they had a club gathering here and she you know kind of mentored him like over the chess table just like she did with kylie oh wait 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 my sim self did that actually my sim self but it's like a tradition like a lot of the like the smartest sims of like the generations and stuff they teach the younger ones you know how to be you know on their on their math stuff on their genius stuff you know so we totally hooked up um um ash he learned from like you know like a super big like tech um like genius herself being amore i totally forgot um amore is like a tech guru type of vibe she created like cash app and stuff it's so freaking cute like i literally can't she is so freaking cute but so yeah so you know so he's ready basically he's ready you know logic wise to handle like a business he's already very business minded he's really ready to handle like the business side of ash tech of course he won't yet because he's still young when he becomes a teenager though which is why i want to skip to them being teenagers even more he's going to you know okay i want him to to start going walking over there no mommy can you can you walk down i want him to maybe make friends or something i don't know have friends outside of just each other you know the kids um what are you up to mommy this is so cute watching little tv together in their kids room this is so freaking cute um give some love to your man though some little lovey love sweet talk you know why don't they have a little moment why don't they have a little moment now that the kids are going to school or whatnot have a little moment why don't you but um what was i saying uh so yeah so ash is gonna be a tech genius he's gonna move into his penthouse in the city and yeah we're just gonna have some, I'm, I'm i'm just so excited for ash's storyline like it's gonna be so much fun like a trans like tech genius that like comes from like a rich family with a multi-million dollar trust fund and he starts his own like tech company that grows to be like bigger than like apple and amazon like combined or something Ugh, what an icon what a literal icon but no let me have them make friends um hey hey dad what's up it's good to hear your voice joaquin i wanted to ask if you if i should get to know brian brenner a little better as a friend they seem like good company sure thing dad sounds like a good idea oh he doesn't work today okay well that's interesting i wasn't expecting that but no i do want them to make friends though having a little woohoo moment or whatever whenever they're ready to finish up there there you go thank you very much <laughs> but so yeah you guys i'm really really pumped for um ash's storyline it's gonna be amazing i hope you guys are ready for this you know what i keep thinking of that makes me so excited that freaking penthouse you guys like that freaking penthouse you guys i am gonna miss this neighborhood and i know i could have him move into this house next door that i made oh my god that is so cute no you know we're taking this as a sign he literally met a sim named brooklyn and we were thinking of him living here in like california basically or like new york city you guys like this is literally a sign and on that note he probably if she has a good trait they're probably going to be best friends i want them to like be best friends and stuff that is so freaking cute you guys i didn't even get to finish saying that i could have him live here i could have chelsea live here i could do that i was thinking of having chelsea live here or something this big old house but i don't know what i do need for him to do is 
definitely take a shower first so you don't get a little stinky butt handle his business there and then I want him to just get that charisma score up because I know he's going to need to do it more anyway and then she is energized I did want her to go on a jog so let's have her do that actually let's have her come out here I am going to miss this house though but I always miss the houses that my sims you know move out of like my teen sims move out of so I'm just going to have to get over that because this house that, that, that penthouse you guys that I made I mean you guys saw it right like it's a freaking 20 out of 10 a 20 out of 10 oh I didn't make a video about it right I didn't make a lot walkthrough I just kind of did I showed like a little teaser at the end of one of my episodes my most recent episodes but no I want it to be like that you guys I want to keep you guys on your toes keep you guys you know like curious about you know how it's gonna look and whatever because it because it is a very very beautiful lot Look at Ash meeting all the Sims. Look at Ash being a superstar. A superstar, yeah, baby. And then I believe he has a sibling, right? Is this right? Like, okay, that is his sister. Oh, they're childhood buds. How though? How? Like, he's so much older than her. It looks like she wasn't even born when he was a child. He's literally a young adult. <laughs> like what but you know let's invite her over oh it's, it's still school right okay it's still school it's still school during free time Ash drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to, to classmates it caused lots of giggling and disrupted the rest of the school day <laughs> oh, take the drawing and punishes <laughs> um so this is a tough one because I would definitely want that drawing to, you know, definitely be taken away and for them to have a talk with him on how inappropriate it is. But he shouldn't get punished for it because I do agree that it is art and that's what's on his mind that he wanted to share. Um, but since I'm so against punishing him for just creating that thing, we are just going to encourage the creativity. Yeah, we don't care about those manners. Like, literally, we're not even checking for that foolishness. Uh, maybe he could talk to the butler, I guess. He doesn't really have too much friends outside of um, the fam wham. The fam wham. Oh, you know what? Let's invite the fam wham over. Let's invite the fam wham over. He can maybe talk to Paco because they're such a creative and stuff for like inspiration and whatnot. They're like a fashion icon. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta pay these bills. Hold on. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bill? Can you pay my automobile bill? I don't think you do. So you and me are through. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bill, bill. So. Let me literally stop you guys. <laughs> I'm so annoying. I can't with me sometimes. I, I wanted him to find that muse. Oh, you know, he doesn't have work today. <laughs> I wanted him to do this, the little gather impressions. I think he first needs to, like, find the muse on here. But we don't need to worry about that right now. We do not need to worry about that. I love that Kylie has this little routine, though, where she always does her little jogs. Like, almost every morning, she goes on a jog around her neighborhood. Her rich and bougie neighborhood. And then, no, this house looks pretty good, you guys. This house looks pretty darn good. I was thinking, like, I was trying in another save file to build, like, a lot, like, a, a mansion that can replace this one here. Because I'm just kind of stubborn about having to redo the interior because it looks god-awful, a lot of the rooms. I made this a long time ago when I just wasn't as good as I am now in, like, in designing interiors. But, like, uh this house it looks so good on the outside and i was really struggling like I, i'm having a hard time like building a lot to replace the one here so i think i'll just kind of off camera of course you know just kind of renovate this on the inside and maybe i could have chelsea live here or something i was kind of thinking in the city though because since she is such a like um an advocate such an activist type of sim you know the city is like perfect for that and that'd be really cute like they both live in the city chelsea and ash like, did I even select for her to make friends? 
He's making all the friends, like, literally. It's okay, she can meet those those friends off of him, though. That's crazy. She seems like more of a social sim. He's literally a loner, right? Hold on. Yeah, what is going on? What is literally going on here? I am so confusion. So confusion. What are you up to, mommy? Um, actually, do some business deals. Why don't you sit here and do some business deals, okay, mommy? That's what I want you to do. Um, what are you up to, papi? Okay, they're talking. I'm just, you know, trying to help him out with his little, um... Look, I mean, look at Paka making this money. Like, from investments. Like, just a silent, just killer. Like, my goodness. Like, he is really the one. Period. <laughs> Period. He's just literally sitting here talking to us. Just made 200 grand. Casually. Um, but no, so... Let's have him do the little thing here, though. <laughs> Let me literally stop with that song. It's so stuck in my head right now, though. Dude, what is up? Like, why is it going down so much? What the hell is going on here? Oof. He's meeting everybody right now. I don't like that this is going down so much. This is making me very upset. What is happening right now? They need to fix this relationship. Because what is what is this about? Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my automobiles? Can you pay my telephone bills? Yeah. I'm like like I'm just basically having a full concert this episode. You see the way they just wiped out everything that I just did for these people? Like we're seeing this, right? I just want to make sure that we're on the same page with this foolishness. Like. Like. <laughs> this game, dude. And what are you doing standing around here, Maury? What's up, mommy? You gonna watch some TV or no? What's up? Wow, finally, Chelsea made a friend. Or she, she got to know a sim. That's crazy. He literally made like four or five, like, you know, connections. No, mommy. Let him do his thing. Oh, she's over here watching romance TV. Dang, Flavor Girl. Getting all hot and heavy. You guys just woohooed. But I, I just want him to really work on this charisma skill, though. How are you with this, Poppy? Okay. Like, whatever, you know. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Like what literally ever did. Let's stop talking with this with this girl. I mean with Parker. Let's stop talking with this dude. And let's let's go talk to Amore or something. What's up with you, mommy? Yeah, they could be a little bit closer, why not? I was wondering where Lucas is. Being a little gym rat as per usual. No, no more jokes. Let's end this conversation with this dude. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Bills. I mean, I might, need, I might not even post this episode because, like, what's even happening? Like, I mean, I guess, you know, I did do a lot of talking about what I want to have with The Sims. What I want to happen between them with Chelsea and Ash. I told myself that if this video this episode felt boring then i just wasn't gonna post it i was gonna scrap it and that was gonna be my sign that i need to go a week a sim week you know without really you know making an episode and just kind of come back when you know they age up i think i'm gonna do that though i really think i want to do that because imagine they like what are we doing here what are we literally doing here like this has just been 25 minutes of me talking non-stop which of course I don't mind talking for 25 minutes nonstop, but you know I wanna I wanna have interesting things going on in the let's play. You get me? Gotta have some things to you know keep you guys you know interested and whatnot. I feel like I'm just not delivering on that front right now. So yeah, this episode is literally ending in in five, four, 
three, two, dooch, 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 dooch. I know you see somehow the world will change to me and feel so wonderful. Dun, dun, dun. Like let me stop you guys. But that was the um okay so it's okay right now it's not glitching anymore like what is going on with this game you know what i'm saying like the game is glitching out we've already done everything that we could do with the kids for the most part like i don't even know i literally don't even know maybe i'll make this episode making friends at school for them or this is what like i don't even know what to make this what's the title of this episode because like not much has really gone on you know but i hope you guys enjoy this episode if i even post it you know if not, then I guess you won't ever see this. Uh, but most definitely, you know, next episode, it will be, you know, when I am just, you know, kind of playing with the kids when they age up, basically, you know. And then pretty quickly after that, once they get their grades up and they can graduate early, you know, we're immediately just like, or maybe Ash is going to really go out early, early before he even graduates school early because you know his like his brain is on fire you know he's on it he's a genius already he mastered the logic skill he's gonna immediately once he becomes a teenager start working on the programming because he can as a child right now he's just gonna really just get it together you know get his life get his life guys get his life in order um yeah we're just gonna jump into this pretty much i guess really soon in the in this last play in the next like two three episodes we're going to be moving out with Ash and his little $2 million trust fund. But so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye, you guys. I love you. Bye. <laughs>